Today, we look at why your wrought iron fencer gate needs to be galvanized. Hey everyone, Jason from Iron Fence Shop. The first thing people worry about when buying a wrought iron fencer gate is rust. And a key component in making sure your pieces don't rust out prematurely is a process called galvanization that puts a protective layer over your bare metal. Galvanization is a process where your bare metal pieces are put into a bath of molten zinc. That molten zinc then bonds to the metal, giving it a protective layer that sits between your bare metal and your final protective black powder coat finish that you see on the outside. A proper hot tip galvanization like we do on our pieces ensures that that protection is on the inside, outside, basically everywhere on the part. Now galvanization has been used over 100 years in industries such as construction, car manufacturing, and building fences like ours. The reason why? It's time tested and does an excellent job of protecting your metal from rust. So you're probably wondering what this is here in front of me on the table. We did a little six month experiment to give you a better representation of what galvanization looks like when it's left out in the elements in different stages. So what we did was take a piece of our uncoated iron and steel, a piece of our galvanized iron and steel, and a piece of our fully finished iron and steel and left them out in the elements for six months to see what would happen. Here are the pieces the day we put them outside. We laid them out back and let the rain, snow, and sun do their worst. We put them outside in June and brought them back in sometime around Christmas. Here in Ohio, that means that they experience temperatures nearly as high as 100 degrees in the summer, as well as below freezing in the winter. So it gave the pieces a wide range of weather and temperature exposure. So here are the pieces after sitting outside for six months. As you can see, the uncoated piece is covered in rust. It only took a couple days of morning dew and a rainstorm for this piece to start turning orange. If we left this outside for a few years, the rust would eventually begin to eat holes in the metal and break it down. Now let's look at the shiny silver galvanized and black powder coat finished pieces. With the exception of some dirt, they look the same as the day they went outside. So if the shiny galvanized piece did this good of a job protecting the metal alone, imagine how durable the final black piece's finish is with that galvanization underneath it and the powder coating on top of it. Now I bet you're thinking, six months means nothing. What about 10 to 20 years down the road? That's where the full finishing process comes into play. The best coatings in the world mean nothing if they're not prepared and applied properly. Our raw materials get hot dip galvanized like we mentioned prior. Then during the construction process, any weld spots get cleaned and a regalvanizing agent put on them. They then go through a four stage chemical wash before they go to powder coating. We then use a high quality TGIC poly based powder coat with UV fade inhibitors in it to give you a nice clean and protected finish. That level of preparation along with the quality coatings we use means we can offer a 25 year warranty on our Stronghold Iron line, one of the longest in the industry. Now, while we provide a quality finish for our iron fencing gates, that doesn't mean they're completely maintenance free. Now, no matter what anyone's told you, iron, aluminum, wood, chain link, vinyl, all of them require some kind of upkeep and maintenance over the years to keep them looking their best. With our iron fencing gates, maintenance should honestly be pretty minimal. What we recommend is walk your fence line once a year or inspect your gate up close and look for any little rust spots or scrapes to bare metal or things like that. If you see anything, use a paint with a rust inhibiting base, Touch it up and you're good to go. That's really it. I compare the maintenance of your iron fence and gates to getting a rock chip on the hood of your car. If you're driving along, rock kicks up, chips the hood of your car, you gotta touch it up if it's down to bare metal. It's the same way on your iron fence and gates. Basically, you wanna make sure you touch up that bare metal spot before rust sets in over the months to years ahead. Once it's touched up and you've got that protective coating over it again, you should be good to go for a long, long time. I hope this video has helped highlight why galvanization is an important part of an overall quality finish on your iron fence or gates. Be sure to check us out here at ironfenceshop.com. Curious about the differences in using iron or aluminum fence? Check out this video we did over here comparing the two. If you got any other questions, feel free to give us a call at 800-261-2729 or shoot us an email at sales at ironfenceshop.com. We look forward to hearing from you.